Yo, what is up guys? And for today we're talking about the director's cut for Luke Smith. This is probably gonna be part two. I'm not gonna make it in parts, but essentially this, um, this is how I'm recording them. But let's talk about the thing that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, which is expiration date on weapons. So it's a it's it's a good thing, but also bad, but really good in a really bad way, in my opinion. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Alright, so I think personally weapons having an expiration date is going to be good because it like it helps alleviate a lot of the sandbox especially for the devs uh it makes us want to grind for new weapons and all this other shit but i think the the negative part is the fact that it kind of just ruins the whole thing like okay so like i'm grinding for this weapon to use for a year to then drop it to get a new weapon that's essentially almost the same thing if not and then do the whole cycle again like i understand in destiny one we had that like we had where what was it we had three dlcs no the game came out then two dlcs and then taken king came out which made everything up until that point obsolete which meant that all the vog weapons all the crota weapons all the weapons from fucking the thing from house of wolves i always forget pov uh, prison of prison of prison of elders poe and essentially everything was worthless and we had a regrind which is fine i think that was okay it still pissed off a lot of people me included because i lost a lot of weapons from those years but we had like the game come out and then two dlcs and then the big dlc so in my opinion that was fine because it wasn't like we knew like the exact time like oh yeah by the way you only have a year to enjoy this weapon now it's just kind of like uh like i think not knowing is better than knowing like let's say i think if they went back to the old format of like essential again i'm going back to like oh they should just go back to the old dlc format which is like make dlcs and then when you make a really big dlc that's when you prune everything like don't make two shitty DLCs, honestly. Please, don't do that. Just make two okay DLCs. Like, fucking... I don't know. Just make two good DLCs. It's really not that hard. And then, you know, make a first Taken level or a fucking Taken King level DLC. And then that's where you prune everything. I think that way would be better because when you make... When you make a, a DLC that big... It's just kind of like you open the gates to a new theme park and you're just like, I don't know what the fuck to do now. Like, I don't know where to go. And that excitement is what really pushes people to like find more shit. Instead, what's probably going to happen is we're going to get a small DLC. And from that small DLC, they're going to start pruning stuff. Hopefully they do it like little by little, because if they do the whole thing, then that's where I'm kind of like, dog, like, ugh. like that's that's not the way like, mm -mm, nope that's too much it's too much because if you think about it let's say okay all the weapons have to go up until that point you're talking crucible strikes gambit vendors raids dungeons reckoning menagerie forges fucking everything from every dlc up until that point is gonna be garbage which means you gotta make new crucible armor and and weapons strike armor and weapons gambit ar armor and weapons and, and uh, just a, just a vendor refresh in general i don't think bungie wants to do that because uh, we've been told multiple times that a vendor free refresh is just not a thing they want like they're thinking about doing so you're telling me we're gonna have shit from forsaken like from crucible strikes gambit vendors and all this other shit but we're not gonna be able to use most of it because of the new power creeper or the new power level or anything like i understand what they're trying to do it's just that the way they're doing their dlcs does not allow that because i can promise you this if in the next dlc they're like all right guys we're pruning a bunch of weapons for this dlc that really doesn't matter if the next DLC is just kind of like a season of dawn where it's like, it's really boring right now, dog. And I can promise you people are not going to be happy about trading their insert dope ass weapon here for an insert mediocre weapon here. Like I'm not saying the season of dawn weapons were mediocre. A few of them were not going to lie, but a few of them were fire, but 
that also brings into like, oh, well, there's not a hand cannon in this. And I love hand cannons. Oh, well, we have a, we have a sidearm. It's like, no, 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 I want a hand cannon. Oh, well, you're, you're fucked because we don't have one. It's like, I don't know. I don't have any solution in this video. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think the closest thing to a solution I have is basically, if we wanna take our weapons with us, let us like i don't i understand the whole power creep conversation i really do i'm not saying there's no power creep but at the same time you can't really just cut out all the weapons in one small dlc and just expect people to be like okay that's cool like what the fuck like it's i understand both sides i'm not like in either camp i'm right in the middle because although i do think we do need a weapon refresh i don't like the way we're gonna do it i don't like the way that oh we're just gonna make weapons useless again and it's like i don't like I, I remember the anger i felt when vision of confluence didn't come with me because i loved vision of confluence and it hurt when i had to put it away because i still had it don't get me wrong i still have it in my vault now but i never use it and i never did for the life of destiny one so Again, me personally, I'm like right in the middle. I'm like, yeah, we need new weapons and all this, but we, I don't want to destroy the weapons we already have, especially when some of these weapons took me fucking forever to farm, especially when it's like, <sighs> especially when it's like raid armors, dog, raid armor. God, I wish there was dungeon armors or weapons. I mean, but like raid, like raid weapons, some of them were fire. Some of them were not. And I, I, like I said, man, I'm so all over the place with this. Cause on one hand, I like the change, but on the other, it does feel like they're cheapening now. It does feel like, oh, we're doing this because gosh, we just don't know what to do. It's like dog, like just, it, it's not that hard. Like, let's say instead of all these like separate seasons, just make a fat season. Just make a fat one. Just combine season of Dawn and season season of uh what you call it season of the worthy and just call it like a sh dawn of season or dawn of the worthy or some shit i don't know I, like i said guys i'm really all over the place with this one because i like the changes but i don't like how we're gonna do it i do understand that some people have like quote unquote like solutions to this but i know that there's flaws in them as well like i've seen people say well just release stuff that's in that's interesting that's hard when like spare rations is amazing how do you make something more amazing than spare rations like i get that conversation but i also agree with that guy make something that's interesting make something that's like the whole reason why fate bringer was so beloved and like awesome was not because oh this shit is powerful it's because like you got it through heroic the only way you got it is through heroic vog and then it slapped it was it wasn't just that it was strong it was so many things it was not just one thing so me personally i don't like change but at the same time i do let me know in the comments below what you think i'm really interested to see what you guys think like let's let's like talk it out let's see if we can find a solution that's pretty good and then uh yeah that's pretty much it i like i said guys man the only way Bungie can really fuck themselves over at this point is if they don't do a vendor refresh. Because if they don't do a vendor refresh, everything they, the, everything that Luke Smith said about like, oh, making the core game more fun and all this rewarding, mute, is destroyed. Because at that point, you're pruning our weapons without giving us incentive. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, I'm not smart enough to find a solution, but let's talk it out. Let's find a solution together as a community. And I promise you guys, I didn't want to make this like, oh, I hate Bungie. Because honestly, a lot of the changes I like and a lot of them I don't like, aside from the faction rallies, that still pisses me off. Other than that, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.